On November 7, 2020, Joe Biden addressed the nation as president-elect for the first time after the election was called for him by all major networks and publications. The weeks to follow brought historic nominations to different federal departments to an insurrection in the home of American democracy. On the day of January 6, 2020, then-President Trump addressed a rally in front of the South Lawn of the White House, restating the proven false claims of rigging and election falsehoods. Today I will lay out just some of the evidence proving that we won this election and we won it by a landslide. After this rally, the crowd, directed by President Trump, moved to the Capitol building, breaching the outer perimeter and then eventually the building itself. The then-current and incoming presidents reacted in very different manners. We love you. It's disorder. It's chaos. President Biden entered the White House with the historically divided nation, reeling from an assault on democracy and in the midst of a pandemic with a simple promise to heal the nation. This is the new administration under President Biden. After a hail to the chief played in the inaugural address given, President Biden got to work repealing Trump-era regulations and executive orders. Biden rejoined the Paris Climate Accord, lifted the ban on transgender people to serve in the armed forces, and Trump's ban on majority Muslim nations. Biden on the campaign trail promised major COVID relief legislation. Democrats acted with majorities both in the Senate and the House, promising a $1.9 trillion package to help Americans affected by the pandemic. During the debate period, Congress wrapped up Trump's second impeachment hearing, clearing him of all charges related to the Capitol insurrection. Biden moved ahead on a large spending package after attempted negotiations with moderate Republican senators. President Biden, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi were able to pass COVID-19 relief delivering on the President's campaign promise. Thank you, Madam Speaker and Mr. Majority Leader, and America. The President promised help is on the way, and today, help has arrived. Help has arrived for the workers who lost. Biden did promise other major pieces of legislation, such as action on immigration and overhauling the minimum wage. However, passing the legislation to the Senate will be very difficult since it will likely require at least 60 votes to pass. Democrats would come up about 10 votes short of that threshold. A question the Democrats in Congress, as well as in the White House, is what will they be able to compromise without upsetting progressives to get the 60-vote threshold in the upper chamber? Moving ahead, Biden's historically diverse cabinet will continue to push Biden initiatives, as well as guide the nation out of the pandemic. As vaccinations increase, the hope remains high that the end of the pandemic is near. As the Biden administration gets to work, the Democratic Party is already looking for the next president in waiting. While it is too early to speculate who she may be, it is clear the next four years will not be like the last. I'm Daniel for PCH-TV.